is Saturday, September 4th, 2021, 7.34 a.m. This is a mini dream summary, because I don't remember a lot, but I remember one little snippet, and I figure I'll record it. Um, I was at a library, and I had a big box of stuff, of, like, books, and there was a lady analyzing it for me. Maybe she was going through their books, and then I said, can you look at my books? And... I guess there's a couple ladies, because one of them sort of looked at my thing, and it was like a CD case, but like a big CD case, like the size of an album. And inside there was, I guess, a CD, but there was a little album, like a, almost like a map or something that was the paper image, I guess the cover. And she's like, oh, this is really good, because CDs are really valuable, um, so you want to keep this in good condition. And, uh, I'm like, oh, I think there's a crack on the plastic, but I knew that you can always just buy a new plastic case for a CD. That's not the problem. And then there was another woman, sort of had silvery hair. I think she was like 60 or something. And then I was saying, okay, and she was going away for a few weeks. And I said, oh, but will I be able to reach you again? And Actually, I'm going out tonight if you want to come. And, and then she was going home, but I was like, can I reach you? And then I thought the other person had a way of reaching her or something. But I was standing in a little circle with her. And she's like, by the way, you know we're all married. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine, because that means there's, like, I won't feel bad for not getting any, because you're all married, like, you know, you're all married, so it's not my fault. And she's like, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and she gave me a little kiss on the cheek, and I'm like, whoa. Uh, and that's basically it. And then I was in a washroom. See, at this point, I look back, and I'm like, oh, right, I had to pee at this point. So this is why I had to pee in the, the dream. But I went, I was in a movie theater, I guess. Yeah, I was running down a hall. And I had my head shaved like I do, and I was like imagining, like, oh, if I was James Bond, I would have hair, I'd be right, I'd look cool. But I'm like, no, The Rock can run down a hall in a movie and look cool. He doesn't need hair hanging in his face, so it's okay. And then I'm like, okay, where's the bathroom in this big movie theater? And I went and uh, opened the door, and there's just, it's like really cramped. So I had to open one stall door, and it was like these two just garbage cans uh, with a swing door in there. So I had to stand up and like reach over and try to get into the garbage can and inside the garbage can there's another garbage can I'm like I think I'm peeing everywhere like on the floor and stuff and then there's a guy next to me sort of standing up over the stall wall too and he's like do you know how to use this like where's the I'm like yeah you just use the door he's like oh do you know if this something to do with Disney do you know if this gets Disney wet or something I'm like no it's it's got a floor of the I don't know what I was talking about but I was trying to talk to that guy and I heard him talking to a girl either right there or outside they were talking about comedy and he was like oh you got to remember to do this with comedy like oh yeah whenever you come up with a joke it's like it's the 10 percent or it's the first 10 percent or it's the first word you think of um i was like what what what's the first word like how do you come up with the word he's like oh you just write the joke and i'm like is it in your chat or her instagram chat because i think they were instagram chatting and I figured okay well maybe i can ask the girl later if i'm gonna see the girl i don't know who the girl is he was chatting with some comedian girl and that's the problem. And at this point, I wake up, and I'm like, all oh, right, I just got to go to the bathroom. And then I looked at my phone, and it was like 7.30, because I was going to... I had to take a note with my text. I wanted to save a voicemail. Uh, so I typed that in a text to, to someone, and then I'll check, check it when I wake up. But anyway, so that's about eight hours sleep. CPAP machines is seven hours, 58 minutes, which means I put it on at like 11.30, put on a podcast for an hour, but I don't remember it ending, so... I guess that's eight hours, and I guess that's good enough when I'm supposed to go to a party at two o'clock at someone's house. So maybe I'll just go for my jog now, because in the summer, when it's sort of warmish like this, it's easy. You just throw in a pair of shorts, you just go for a jog. In the winter, it's going to be like so many layers. It's hard to exercise, but I might not even be here in a month anyways. So we'll see. Here I go. Thanks.